Hello, friends. This is a completely unplanned video, but I promise it will be very interesting. I'm currently working on a big project, and as part of it, I need to make a specific part. Things turned out so interestingly that I decided to create this short video to show you how it's going. I needed to weld two pipes at a 45 degree angle and ensure the highest quality result. I need to cut a saddle shape into the pipe. There are many methods online where craftsmen create special mechanisms to cut pipes this way. Typically, these setups consist of two moving plates. On one side, a drill with a hole saw is mounted, and on the other side, there is a vis holding the workpiece. The drill is advanced, and the saddle cut is made using the hole saw. While this is a simple mechanism, it still requires time, and I don't have much time. I only have a small, one-time task. I need to make saddle cuts on just 20 pieces, and it's very important that the cuts are precise and repeatable. I almost forgot to mention the pipes have a diameter of 34 mm, a wall thickness of 3 mm and a length of 200 mm. I considered two methods for cutting the saddle, using a lathe or my new magnetic drill. I even made a separate video about how unique this drill is. I started with the lathe by removing the tool holder and attaching a vis. Everything seemed fine at first, but then I ran into a problem. The hole saw has a depth of 35 mm. During drilling, the tip of the pipe starts hitting the bottom of the hole saw. I solved this issue by cutting the pipe at a 45 degree angle first, so the drill only has to remove a small amount of material. Another issue is that even if I used a 50 mm deep hole saw, which exists, it would create too much load on the lathe. The contact area between the tool and material would be too large, and my lathe isn't very powerful. It lacks the torque needed, causing the belt to slip and the lathe to stop. Basic vises also aren't great if you need perfect accuracy and repeatability. So I built a custom fixture. It took me about two days to make it. The most time-consuming part was machining these thick washers. I made them from a heavy steel rod and it took me an entire day to produce just two washers. The pipe is secured with screws positioned at 120 degree angles. I made the base from a 10 mm thick steel plate. I welded it using 140 amps to ensure deep and solid penetration. Normally, I weld at 70, 90 amps but this time I increased it to 140. I assumed that the hole saw could function like a milling cutter. It's a specially designed, thick-walled drill bit. However, I was in for a big disappointment. The drilling speed was too low, the feed was manual, and the teeth on the hole saw were spaced too far apart. All these factors worked against me. Unfortunately, my hole saw broke. I was really upset because this 35mm hole saw was quite expensive, it cost about $30. I was frustrated that I couldn't make the saddle cut. I mounted my fixture on the lathe. To perfectly align the fixture on the lathe, I used a laser level to ensure each part was at the same height. I used a piece of plywood as a gauge. My dad actually drilled the first piece manually. He really likes my passion for machinery and often helps me out. Now, I switched to the smallest feed rate and started drilling in automatic mode. It takes about 4 minutes to make a saddle cut on one piece. The results are perfect. However, the teeth on the hole saw started to wear out gradually. I still had a few more pieces to drill, and some of the teeth were already damaged. I love experimenting, so I was curious to see how hot the drill bit gets during operation. I attached a thermometer to monitor the temperature of the hole saw in real time. Here's what I observed. The highest temperature occurred in the first quarter of the cut, where the drill bit passes through the thickest metal section. I think 60. 70 degrees Celsius is nothing for a cobalt drill bit, so I decided to continue without using any cooling fluids. 
Now all the pieces are finished and the whole saw still has slightly more than half of its teeth intact. I'm confidently throwing it away. Thank you for watching. See you next time.